The Earth is constantly bombarded with energy from the sun. Without it, the Earth would die. In addition to sunlight, charged particles ejected from the sun continually stream outward to form the solar wind. During intense solar flares, highly energetic particles are emitted, which can be deadly. Fortunately, the Earth has something called a magnetosphere that protects us. And the charged particles are forced to flow around the Earth because of this, and it sets up a kind of a magnetic bubble for our planet that acts uh, as a protective shield against the highest energy particles. So understanding how the magnetosphere works is very important and not well understood. Los Alamos National Laboratory scientists have now created a 3D model of the very basic mechanisms of something called magnetic reconnection, happening out at the leading edge of the magnetosphere at a place called the magnetopause. And at the magnetopause, there's a rapid rotation of the magnetic field corresponding to a current sheet, a, a thin layer of current. And this is where people believe that this process of magnetic reconnection is triggered. So what we're looking at in these movies is a simulation box that's centered around one of these thin boundary layers in order to look at the, the kinetic structure of these layers as they break up. These models will help support a 2014 NASA spaceflight called the Magnetospheric Multiscale Mission, or MMS, that will study the physics of the magnetosphere in detail. These spacecraft uh, on the MMS mission will have four spacecraft that are flying together pretty closely and have very high time resolution diagnostics measuring the electric fields, the magnetic fields, and then the, the plasma particles, the, the electron distribution functions within the plasma. So we're pretty excited that after MMS is launched, we think that detailed uh, uh, comparisons will be possible between our kinetic simulations and the data from the MMS mission. I'm Kevin Rourke for LANL TV.